Hey guys, how you doing? It's Wolf here with another grind video for you guys. Um, so, as many of you may already know, that uh, I did uh, went to a flea market yesterday. It's called um, uh, Nam De Mun, and uh, I live in Georgia, live in South Atlanta, and uh, so I was able to get a lot of stuff. Um, and so, in this particular video, I'm going to use what I have. Um, and try my best to make it nice and neat and uh we're gonna have a good time this video how's everybody doing um first i'm looking for like a little yep yeah, i'm gonna need this um this time because i got a lot of other meat that and uh so first what i got what we're gonna use today i'm gonna go ahead and list out all the ingredients um, I got pork heart, pork heart run, ran me a dollar 49 a pound. And so this pack was four seventeen. Um, the next thing, hold on one second, I'm trying to get my area clean. The next thing that I got was beef kidney. Beef kidney ran me a dollar ninety nine a pound, and this was four twenty nine. Okay. I also got beef heart. Man, beef heart looks crazy, right? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Beef heart looks crazy. Um, it ran me a dollar forty nine a pound, and this was four forty. This all looks crazy. I wonder if it's like the whole heart. Mm. I got... Uh, oh, it's dripping. That's great. I got uh, pork kidneys. These were 99 cent a pound. Great. Got four of those guys. And we're gonna bring this whole bag over here because it's got a lot of blood in it. They also sold like bottles or jars of blood, which was unique. Um, and I got pork liver, which was $1.49 a pound. So I, I was able to receive a lot of good meat this go around. Um, the meat that we're gonna be using today is pork instead of beef. Um, I think I got the beef for $1.79 a pound, and I got 15 pounds. Keep my trash can close. All right. And we're going to go ahead, and we're going to get started. Um, first, what we need is to take out all of our meat. Fifteen pounds of ground pork. Then I got broccoli and kale. I think the kale was like two bunches for a dollar or ninety nine cent for one, so it was just it was clearly obvious to get to. Um, need a mixing bowl. No. There it is. Got the giant mixing bowl ready and available. I actually have two. top over there and uh, just in case that the one isn't enough um we've got our handy dandy got our handy dandy old 1980s blender <laughs> hamilton beach 
and uh, we haven't upgraded yet, but we're getting there. And we've got calf liver, um, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna freeze this because um, I, I'm, I have the beef liver. Let's get out our fish oil, our eggs. Oh man, you know what I forgot this time? I forgot my pumpkin. Got my coconut oil. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna take your blender. How's everybody doing today? Take the blender. Run it, rinse it out. Get some hot water going. I think I spent at the uh, at the farmer's market, I think I spent about 70 bucks on everything. I also got a pork head and a lamb head. Um, so that was a good deal. I'm gonna take some hot water. Gonna start it off. A lot of people ask me for the ingredients, so I will try to measure things this time. So I start with a cup of hot water. This one is going to be a very organ dense meal um, because I have a lot of variety of organs this time. Um, and the only thing that, dang, I really wish I had my pumpkin. Dang. All right, so we'll start with our eggs and our coconut. Put two eggs in there. And we're going to use two tablespoons of coconut. And when I say tablespoon, I mean your typical tablespoon. I use two of these. Make sure that you use 100% unrefined. You wanna make sure that it's nice and balanced for them. Okay, I've got salmon oil, 100% salmon oil. We're gonna do two, let's do three squirts of that. Go ahead and mix it up. You guys can't see it, okay. Go ahead and mix it up. For you guys that are new, um, so the the egg, everybody knows the eggs are good for your dog's skin and coat. Um, the shells, they provide calcium. Um, aside from the egg shells, I provide calcium with the, the heads, like the goat head, the cow head, the pork head, or whatever. I also do whole chicken, whole turkey, or whole duck if I can find it. I do leg quarters. Um, and so giving these sources of meat like the chicken and the um, leg quarters and stuff like that, that allows them to have something to help clean their teeth. Um, it also allows them to, oh, excuse me. It also allows them to um, have their calcium intake. 
Um, so now that we got that situated, that's just the beginning and the, the uh, supplements. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to put you guys up here. If I can. So you won't fall. And do these organs. I think, yeah, I do have a light under here. <laughs> Ain't that some? Okay, so we're gonna take this pork liver first. And this one is kind of big. Oh, it's two, that's why. Okay, pork liver here. Just gonna go ahead and I guess what we'll do is we'll just cut it into like threes or something like that. Rinse off some of this. It's not frozen. It looks healthy to me. I don't see any spots or anything that would uh, lead me to believe. Okay, so that's good. Put the other one to the side. If I can get it in there in this little pack. There we go. And we need a good knife. Good knife like this. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this liver. We're just gonna cut it into like threes or fours. Just so that it'll chop easier in the blender. So I kind of got fortunate when I went to uh, this um, this flea market. This is my first time going to a flea market and um, being able to purchase these types of meat. So that was pretty cool. So we're going to take this and I should have moved the blender over here, but it's, it's over there. Um, I don't think I can really turn it right now. I'm just gonna put this in the blender. While that's blending, I'm gonna open up the next batch of meat. Which would be the beef hearts. Okay, this beef heart is like, like, I do not understand this thing at all. What the heck is this? This junk is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. I do not think my blender is strong enough to blend this up. I might have to wait on the beef heart because I don't think my blender is strong enough to blend up this cartilage. Might have to do the pork heart. It's a lot smaller and less cartilage. So this is the pork heart right here. Looks more like a human heart. Shake one of those.
Push this bad boy off. This is my dog's actual first time um, eating um, heart. They've had kidney and liver, but this is their first time eating heart. So this is a pork heart. So what I'll do is I'll just cut this a little bit. Um, I think pork heart is considered a muscle meat, and it's not considered an organ. Um, so this would be part of the pork that I have. and put that in the blender. All right, so I got the pork card in there. Next I have beef kidney. This is a kidney, a beef kidney. You can tell it's a kidney by having all these little like pockets. Your little pockets. It's a kidney. Rinse this off. Okay. So this is the most, um, organ meat that I have including in the videos or the series that I have um, and so I'm just trying to um, try different things experiment um, I cut the beef kidney up into fours that way it'll be easier in my blender some people say that kidney has a good smell. It doesn't smell like anything but blood to me. I'm gonna go ahead and put this into... Okay, and we're gonna put this into the blender. Not all at once, because my blender isn't strong enough. Actually, I think I'm going to pour some of it off because it's getting cold. So, this is what it looks like so far. It's just red. I haven't added my vegetables yet. But it's getting kind of full, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of it. I'm probably pour about like two thirds of it off, leave about this much because it needs some liquid in there to help it blend. So pour that into my bowl. And I've got a little bit left. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. And I'm gonna blend the rest of these kidneys.
Okay. Now the kidneys blending up. My blender. Oh my goodness, guys, my blender. Here, let me show you. All right, so it's over here blending, and all of a sudden it hopped off of the blender. I don't think it's bad. I just think it started grinding the thing a little bit. Let's try it. I hope it's okay. Blender didn't die. I'm gonna have to get a grinder. Um. So, being as that the blender is starting to act up, I'm gonna go ahead and add my vegetables now, just to make sure that I have my vegetables in there. Um. So that way it'll be a balanced diet for them. The vegetables that I have that I'm gonna add are kale. It's right here, fresh kale. This one looks really good, doesn't it? Got this from the farmer's market. It looks really good. Um, so, we'll take about maybe one. And find a long one. Two. Eh, maybe like three of these. Take that off, don't need that anymore. And then, I'm gonna use this whole head of broccoli. And for the for the kale, I don't use the stalks, I just use the stems. Um, and so let's go ahead and blend this up. Make sure that you rinse your vegetables before you use them. This beef heart, man, I gotta figure out how to do something with that. And rinse them off. Thank you guys, I really appreciate all the birthday wishes and love that you guys sent out to me yesterday. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> I didn't really do anything but go to my firefighter um, orientation and combat training. Hopefully I can make it through. Um, let's go ahead and rip that off. I'm going to put this in there. Stops for the rabbit. Now we got the broccoli. Add a little broccoli to it. My poor blender's dying on me. It's older than I am, so I guess it's all right. Go ahead and add the broccoli in there.
for a second. for a second and then I'm gonna add give these to my rabbit hold on should be good looks like this when it's done and I'm gonna add all of this to yeah all of this to the uh, to the actual pan or pot and scrape it out okay do that like so and you can see the, the difference in color from the organ meat and the vegetable meat. That's a lot more green. That's a lot more like, like a pinkish red. Okay. So now, make sure you clean as you go so you don't have a big mess to clean up. For those of us that don't like cleaning. Okay, push that out, put a little water in there. Excuse me, put a little water in there. Dogs are outside right now. Oh, I have a question for those of us that are watching. Do you know how to, like after you make a video, do you know how to like save it or download it to your phone? Does anybody know how to do that? Now, I'm just gonna take my pork. This is 15 pounds of ground pork that I got for $1.79. Just gonna add our pork to it. make a mess um, come on. I might be able to fit it all in one bag there we go it's in there now we just commence to the mixing. I found for anybody that lives in the Atlanta area, I found um, a co-op group for Atlanta. And um, they've got some pretty good stuff on there. I've seen like a, it's called Titan Red or Titan Blue or something like that. And it has like beef, lamb, tripe, um, uh, some vegetables, some vitamins, and stuff like that. And there are pre-made grind that you can get for 99 cents a pound. Which is really, really good. Um, which is really good. Uh, I wish I had some gloves. I do. 
Just gonna use some gloves today. Hope everybody is being well. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, my hands are a little wet and these gloves are too tight. Um, I've been talking to people and wanting to do like collab videos, but nobody has the same schedule as I, so it's kind of hard to do. And then we've got time differences and these gloves are like really hard to get on, whatever. Um, and, uh, yeah, so get these on come on okay Let's go ahead and mix this up The puppy seemed to like the the pork head a lot better than my older dogs. Um, puppies, I mean Sasha and Ace. And um, a lot more than summer and winter. But um, I've got some lamb head that sometime next week I'll give them. Um, and I still have like... I tried to get the pork cake cut into four, so I think I still got one in the freezer. And I think I have one outside now that they're eating on. So typically 15 pounds, I've had to increase my amount. Um, typically 15 pounds should get me about a week and a half. Um, it should. Um, if I can get it to last two weeks, that would be great. Exactly two weeks or more, that would be great. But I know that the puppies are growing, so I may have to increase it to 20. Um, so. But um, I allow my dogs to... Um, to free eat at times that way they aren't limited to the amount of nutrients that they want my dogs do not overeat um, if they're full they'll stop or if they don't want any they won't eat um, they're not gonna just eat because it's raw and it's in front of them I know a lot of uh, the viewers or people in the community have dogs that will just eat. Eat and eat till they're so full that they pop. Um, so I'm making this grind on a Saturday afternoon. It's very quiet here. It's almost done. Starting to get more efficient with my videos. I also want um, suggestions or ideas on what to do in future videos because I would think that just doing a grind every video would get boring. So I am taking suggestions. I have tr also started doing um, like shopping trips. So if you guys think that that is a good idea, I will start incorporating that. Um, I do have a YouTube channel. I'm trying to start, um, I've got like two videos on there, but I want to start, um, I like being interactive with you guys. I like having conversation, talking to you guys and being able to, uh, um, communicate and help you guys out um, spreading the news and information 
Um, but I want it to be interesting for people, not just sit there and, you know, just watch me make these grinds and eventually that'll get boring. And I don't want us to become boring. So if there are any suggestions on how to continue to um, make good videos and quality videos, if anybody has any suggestions, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I would also like to thank all of you guys. My most successful video got about 12,000 views in two days. Um, so that is a blessing. It's really cool also. Um, to see that, uh, 12,000 people watched my video. That is like awesome. Um, a lot of people say that I should do this for, um, profitable purposes. And I don't really look for a profit. Um, I do it because I enjoy doing it. I enjoy helping and making these videos to allow people to learn and give their dog the best quality um, a diet as they can afford. Um, and then I also try to sell it um, locally at first in order to get um, um, known and revenue and buy the supplies and basically get a formula down for shipping. I uh, know a lot of you guys were interested in buying. Um, if I could ship overseas, that would be great at a very cost effective or cost efficient way. Um, um, I also see that a lot of people like to watch these videos in the evening time. Um, so this is the second video I've done like in midday. So just to get those guys that don't like to watch videos during family time or anything like that um but yeah i appreciate you guys for tuning in i think we spiked to like 27 viewers today um right now we're holding steady at 1920 um I remember one video I had, we got 65 viewers at one time. That junk was like, whoa, mind-blowing. That was cool. Okay, this is pretty much good and mixed in. Um, Trying to, like, reach the bottom. Make sure that there's no more liquid. And that's really the important part. Like, when you're doing grinds and mixes like this, you want to make sure that Everything is really like mixed in. There's no like one portion has too much liquid or one portion is too white because you'll notice that certain portion of, por portions of it will be like lighter than the rest. And that's because it doesn't have the uh, the supplements in there. Okay. This is their first ground pork. So we're about to see how they do as soon as I touch the bottom. So I'm going to put this on the floor. Call the dogs inside. And see how they react. I also got um some leg quarters at a great oh my goodness, this is like a steal to me. I normally pay like around $7.99 or $7.79, something like that, for a 10-pound bag of leg quarters. I got these leg quarters for $3.99. $3.99. That was great. I can buy two for the price of one. That was a great deal. All right, I'm going to take these gloves off. Give me a second. And I will let the dogs in. And see how they like this pork grind that we've done today. 
happy birthday to all those whose birthdays are today or that were yesterday. Those winter, summer, Ace and Sasha. Full from that head. Want to relax it? I know Ace ate a whole head by himself yesterday. Well, I say head, but I cut it into fours. So it's probably like the size of like her hindquarters but yeah so um, start going to the flea market more often um, and I think um, if there are people like in the in the Georgia area um, and they don't have the ability to get to a flea market um, I was thinking about like buying or purchasing um meat for them and then they just paying the shipping price um well of course they pay for what they want you know um or we'll go half on the shipping price or something um to allow them to get what they can't get to you know some people don't have vehicles or certain things like that so i appreciate you guys for watching um and good luck and have fun thank you for taking care of your wonderful pets um, and I'll see you next time. Wolf is out.